Where do you get your strength from? Uh, born with you know strength from within, but uh, my teammates a lot. The whole staff here at Pittsburgh, um, you know, my teammates have got my back from day one. All my coaches and everybody on staff, brothers. So it's a whole bunch of mm -hmm. you know the support that I've received through everything has been you know pretty amazing. Has it? It had to have been difficult, not not just what happened recently, but you know, mm -hmm. missing the entire season when you put so much energy, you know, into getting ready for this season. Yeah, for sure. You know, I was like in the best shape of my life, you know, coming into the Youngstown State game and then that injury happened and it was tough, you know, but I was rehabbing to get back and then like you said, the stuff that happened uh, recently, you know, it was definitely tough, but like I always say, it's just going to make for a greater story to tell, you know, when it's all said and done and I'm mm -hmm. healthy again, back playing. Uh -huh. And now when was the knee, a, when were you able to, when could you have played on the knee? At what point? Could um, you have played it all this year? No, nah, I wasn't going to play at all this year. You know, it was, I was just being smart. With, I wasn't going to rush for a comeback. Um, you know, people were saying, you know, maybe the bowl game I was going to come back. But I was just going to take my time and let it heal. So, mm -hmm. um, but it was still, it was getting pretty healthy. But I was just being smart over it, you know, just waiting yeah. for my next season of football. Had to be tough to, you know, give up the entire season. But you, you, you had to come to grips with that. It was tough yeah. coming to grips with that, wasn't it? Of course, yeah. You know, just watching my teammates compete, you know, Watching those guys I trained with all off season, you know, watching them, you know, perform without me was definitely tough. But I got over it pretty soon. Now you've had two uh, chemotherapy treatments. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a bit a little about what they, that's been like as far as the, the physical effects on your body? Um, it's really um not that it's not that bad actually. You know, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but I, you know, in talking to Eric Berry and you know my guy Clay uh, Schmidt from uh, Clemson, that's one of my good friends that I made during this process. Um. I got a pour in my chest, and really what it is is just, you know, they pump those fluids in there and, uh, you know, to kill the bad cells. Um, I've been a little fatigued. You know, I'm tired, obviously, than I'm, I usually am. But, um, you know, it's really just a mental fight. That's what it is. It's a mental fight. And uh, but me having a positive attitude and being around my teammates making me laugh. Um, the physical part, you know, I'm still up. I'm still over like this. And I'm at the bowl week doing all the activities mm -hmm. at practice. So um, it's really just a mental fight. I hear they offered you a, a private room for for the treatments, and you turned. He said he didn't want a private room. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no need for that. You know, um, I'm just like everybody else, and so, um, you know, I have my fam come with me. You know, for different treatments, and it's cool talking to the other patients and just getting to know people. Mm -hmm. There was one guy who was there, um, who's been going there for six years. You know, saying so. Anytime you think your situation is worse, you know, it's bad. You know, it always could be worse. Mm -hmm. So it was cool just to talk to other guys and. You know, other patients who've been, who've going through the same thing I'm going through. How's your mom holding up? She's good now. Obviously, it was tough when she first heard the news, but uh, right now she's she's fine. Mm -hmm. She go with you to the to the uh, treatments? Mm -hmm. She went back with me. My brother made it back uh, from Florida. He was home for the holidays, and my last treatment was the 22nd. Um, and so he was he got to come with there, and you know he likes that kind of this is see you know the experience and going through mm -hmm. it with me. He likes being there. Grandparents came up. Dad is going to come up to the next one. So, oh, yeah, people are all good. You know, helping me out. That was Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. now, well, have, Monday, Monday. Actually. Monday. No, you have you felt any other than being tired? Have you felt any other effects? Uh, stomach aches. You know, a little nausea. I haven't you know threw up or anything yet. Um, some people say as it, I'm only done two. I got ten more to go. You know, hopefully that's the plan. That's the schedule. Um, you know, some people say it gets worse as you continue doing them. But everybody's body different. You know, and right. I look at myself as young and healthy so um hopefully that is breeze through you know um with the physical part and just um you know take the mental part uh you know with all my with help from the teammates and when's your next one uh january 4th okay. every two weeks every two weeks months. you do it yeah for six months and uh now I, I was talking to in fact coach narduzzi said the other day on the radio that the tumors mm -hmm. are starting to shrink yeah excellent doctor and dr marks and um the tumor was first 14 centimeters I uh, said it shrunk through estimate about 11. Which one? The one in your chest? Yeah, the one in the chest. Um, The neck, the ones in my neck uh, went down too. And so, um, you know, that's great news that, you know, the medicine are, and is working. And so uh, hopefully every, every treatment, it just goes down a little bit more. And so I uh, found myself having a little bit more energy with, um, you know, taking that pressure off the vein that carries blood to the heart. Um, You know, pressure is coming out there, so the blood flow is running smoother. Uh -huh. My face is still a little swelled up. You know, I'm, I'm pale uh -huh. and stuff now. I'm ugly, uh -huh. but... Um, I'm getting healthier <laughs> as the treatments go on. Uh -huh. uh, now, Dr. Marks had said at the news conference that you will play next season. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you feel about that? It means everything. You know, there's, we got some great games. And just, I'm just looking forward to the time we, I can spend with other teammates you know of. Because I know a couple people in the NFL and 
you know, if you really sit down and think about it, there's, you know, you're going to a city where, you know, you don't know nobody, you know, a city you maybe never been. Um, but I'm just excited to come back and, you know, take Hans Field with Panther Pitt and, mm-hmm. you know, just great fans of Hans Field and all my teammates who, like I said, I go to war with every day and I, I made lifelong friendships with. So I'm just crazy excited for that. I know this is a, a, a tough what if question, but if you had not gotten hurt and this had not happened, do you think you would have come back next year? Um, I'm not sure. I'd be, it's a very tough question. Um, it, was, it was definitely heavy on my mind before you know I got diagnosed. Um, you know, I had to weigh my options, do what's best for me and my family. You know, it's a lifelong dream of mine. And so um, I don't know. The, the decision isn't until January 18th. Is um, not until the day you have to, you know, you have to declare for the draft or not. And so I probably would have waited all the way up until then because I've been heavy on my mind. But um, mm-hmm. the decision got made for me. So yeah. it took some pressure off me. Do you, uh, did you hear back from the NFL on your in the evaluation? Um, I know you applied I, for it. Yeah, I know a couple of us, me, Tyler, um, I think E1. Price, uh, a couple of us put in, but um, I think those guys might have uh, got their results back, but I didn't really care to look at mine, you know, mm-hmm. because now I'm just looking to do everything in the 2016 season to prepare me for that NFL draft. So you didn't look? You, you, nah. you could have if you wanted to? Yeah. You're not curious? No, nah, I'm just focused on getting healthy. Uh-huh. Um, have you done much working out at all since the chemo started? Yeah. What have you um, done? I can't lift heavy, um, but I've been, you know, trying to get it all out of my system, you know, with uh, running on a treadmill. Keeping up on my footwork, keeping up on my knee, staying on top of that, even though that's healthy. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, just basic treadmill work and um, you know riding a bike and stuff. And what kind of support? And you said the team has given you a lot of support. What kind of support have you given them? You know, in the last few weeks, getting ready for this game. Um, we're just building up <clears> each <throat> other. I think everybody's going to come out stronger than this and seeing everything that I've overcome and um, everything that we've overcome as a team. So we're really just piggybacking off of each other. And you know, um, I feel like with me being around and you know, showing my, my courage and stuff is just helping those guys. And anytime they're feeling down or feel like they got it bad, you know, they just kind of look at me and they're like, oh, well, I know they know that I would do anything that would be out there practicing with them right now. You know, mm-hmm. so we're just, you know, building strength off each other. What's it going to be like for you if you do come back next year to play at Heinz Field? What, what, what's that first game going to be like? It's going to be huge. I want to sell out crowd, all that, all that good stuff, you know, looking nice. Um, just getting another victory, you know, and, uh, I'm close to some records, you know, on the selfish shot things, uh, you know, tie for the touchdowns and all that kind of stuff. But mm-hmm. no, nah, this is going to be a, a very special day. Um, you know, I have the family will be there, and um, just getting back to do what I love, you know. So it'll be a mm-hmm. real special moment for me. Do you have any doubts that you? Not at all. No, no doubts at all. That's I just no doubts at all. I know that you know. I think we open up with Villanova next year, right? Yeah. yeah. And there's no doubt that I'll be out there. So mm-hmm. looking forward to it. Um, so right now it's just it's just a little nausea and a little fatigue and other than that it's pretty normal stuff, huh? Yep, so far, yeah. I mm-hmm. think the key is, you know, if anybody else watching this, I like that they said the chemotherapy works immediately, but it doesn't leave the body immediately. And I feel like, you know, my grandmother had breast cancer and um she after her chemo treatment she would still get sick. But I was asking her about her diet and, and all that kind of stuff and she was just saying she keep on a normal diet, but I think the key is to get it out of your system after it does its job. So I've been drinking a gallon of water and constantly using the bathroom to get it out because they said everything that uh, comes out of me for uh, the next couple of days after chemo treatment has chemo in it, so I have to be careful. Um, but, yeah, I'm taking a gallon, a gallon of water, getting it out of me that way. I'm working out, sweating it out. So if it's not in me, uh-huh. you know, I feel like that's the reason why I haven't been getting sick. So I'm going to continue to do that. And oh, okay. Anybody else who has the chemo, you know, just the key is to get it out of you after it does its job instead of letting it sit in you. So I, I feel like that's a very important part of it. Now, your grandmother is a, is a breast cancer survivor? Correct. Uh, can you give me your name? Uh, Ruby Connor. And your grandma Ruby. Are you B.Y.? Yes. Mm-hmm. On, my, uh, on my dad's side of the family. Mm-hmm. And, um. Yeah, she lost her hair. She got a haircut and all that kind of stuff. She, she's she been telling me the whole process of things. And mm-hmm. I think she had four chemo treatments and uh, radiation for like 35 days. And so she's tough. So I lost her to get my strength from her. Is she done with it now? Yeah, she's done. Oh, she's, good. Hair came back and she's up cooking, cooking Christmas dinner, all that good stuff. Really? So, yep. Yeah. Good. She cooked for you this Christmas? Well, uh, she she probably made a play for me, but I wasn't there. I was still uh. here down here. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lost any hair? Mm-mm. I got a haircut, but no, I'm still, <laughs> still going strong. <laughs> How do you feel about the game uh, Monday? What do you, what do you, what I'm excited? Um, mm-hmm. excited, very excited to watch them boys compete. That's been the best thing, you know, because when you're out there playing, you're just focused on your job and trying to do your job correct. 
Um, but me, when I play this year, I've been able to sit back and really just focus and watch individual guys. Very proud of Quadri, you know, the way he stepped up. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I was talking to him coming into the season, obviously, with me being the reigning ACC player of the year, you know, it's, 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 it's normal for him to not expect that many carries in the game. And then for him to come in and be ready and, you know, have the performance he did and have the season he did, very proud of him. So I got to sit back and watch him. So that's been the fun part. And so Monday, we got a great team in Navy. Um, it's going to be a fun game. Uh, when did you decide to come down here? Um, was it, you, you always you always had plans yeah. to come here? Oh, yeah, for sure, because I knew that my, I know we were leaving the 23rd and my treatment was the 21st. And so I'm like, oh, perfect. They gave me two days to, you know, kind of recover and come down with mm-hmm. the team. So, um, I, yeah, I didn't never thought I was going to miss this trip. Mm-hmm. Who was your friend in Clemson? You, you said that. Uh, His name's Clay Schmidt. He's a, he's a Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, he's on a football team? No, he's a pitcher. He Baseball. Played, yeah, he reached out to me through uh, Instagram. And um, and he's like, bro, I would love to talk to you and tell you what to expect. And I was very cool because he didn't have to do that, you know. Mm-hmm. So you never met him before? No, nah, I never met him before. But mm-hmm. we talk almost every day on the phone, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so he's a senior pitcher at Clemson University. Oh, okay. 32, so that's so what you, I now. You've reached out. A lot of people have reached out to you. Who, oh, who's yeah. reached out to you besides Eric Perry and that guy and Schmidt? Oh, I, the list goes on. There's a number of, you know, people who, you know, all other football, you know, college athletes from every school. Um, other professionals, like Lemieux? Antonio Brown, yeah, all, all those guys. You know, it's, it's been there's way too many. You just speak to Lemieux, yeah, Mary Lemieux, um, Merle Hodge, all those guys that have reached out. So, mm-hmm. yeah, what an experience, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think you'll be stronger for it by the, when it's all said and done? Yeah, of course. It's, look at life different. Okay. James, thank you, thank you. I'm, I wish you all the great, appreciate all the luck. It.